why hello there welcome to grimly's fiends my name is lee i'll be your host narrator and illustrator during your stay here and we're working through our inktober 2021 prompts today is day 22 the prompt is open I had a couple different ideas for today and finally settled on one so let's let's get to it some people that will not be thrilled with this not a lot I can do about it these particular phobias are just things that we can't control If you're new to my Inktober challenge, one of the things that I've done is added a couple of personal challenges to the daily prompt. And the biggest one of those is that I'm giving myself a 20 minute time limit to do each prompt. And so here we are at about probably three minutes of drawing time. And that means that if I really want to see that personally imposed limit come to fruition. I need to start inking right now. I just don't know if the uh, if a clown with a tearaway face is something that's a distinctly Nightmare Before Christmas thing. I don't remember seeing a clown with a tearaway face prior to that movie, but it certainly stuck with me since then. Two days. That means that we have less than 10 more entries for Inktober. That's 10 more or 9 more daily drawings before this thing comes to a culmination on Halloween. So my question to you, and I would love to get your feedback, uh, those of you that are watching and have been following along, are you enjoying the daily content? Because prior to Inktober starting here at the beginning of October, I was doing weekly content, occasionally a live stream, and uh, being as how you're the folks that are supporting all of this, I would love to hear what you would like to see from Grimley's going forward. Would you like to see daily content? I could keep drawing monsters pretty much every day for the rest of my life, so if that's what you want to see, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, did you prefer the weekly content? Did you prefer just the storytelling content? I would love to hear what you think. And uh, I'll, I'll use that to influence how I go forward with this because I'm actually having a really good time with the daily content and I'm seeing a lot of new faces that I never saw before. 
But I also realized that keeping up with a, with a daily posting schedule is a little tricky for me. It's also kind of tricky for you if you're at home trying to keep up with the videos and being awesome and supportive. Like, it seems like the vast majority of you have just been awesome and keeping up with all of these new posts and all of these new monsters and all of your comments have been awesome and keeping me going with all of this. So that's really cool and I appreciate it. But yeah, what do you want to see? What do you want to, what do you want to uh, see the channel commit to? Because if you want to see a daily posts, I'm happy to do daily posts. It's, it's a lot of fun for me. And it's challenging for me. I think that's the other thing that I've enjoyed about this daily Inktober contest contest uh, challenge is the challenge for me of making sure that I get my content together every single day. It's been a lot of fun. about clowns that freaks us out I've always wondered that I mean not everybody's freaked out by clowns honestly but enough of us, enough of us are that a creature like Pennywise can be frightening to us otherwise we wouldn't have creatures like Pennywise it's got to be something that it's kind of like the um, the symbol crashing monkey right I think they're cool. I've had a few in my life, but my wife is terrified of them.
was asked the other day how many points I give myself for um, being faster than my time limit, and the answer is a hundred bajillion. That's a hundred bajillion points that I will be adding to the points pool for being farther ahead than I anticipated on this project. Add a little bit of color to it just for fun though. deduct half a bajillion points for saying I was done before I was actually done. Someday I'll get those bajillion points. But now, I think I feel comfortable saying that it's done. Yes.
There we go, day 22 in the bag. The prompt was open, and here we have a clown with an open face. Wow, that's actually creepier than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. If you like what we're doing here on Grimly's, make sure to scare up that like button. And of course, you can let us haunt you forever by subscribing to the channel. We do have a dedicated playlist for our Inktober 2021 prompts. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. The best is yet to come.